Black Friday's here, guys, and you know what that means. It's the day after being thankful where we prepare for war. <laughs> I always found it ironic that Black Friday happens the day after giving thanks for everything. Okay, kids, that's enough being thankful. Go suit up in your riot gear so we can old pin an old lady down in order to win that new Samsung smart TV. Black Friday, one of the largest shopping days of the year. Despite the ability to shop online and Black Friday sales, customers continue to brave long lines for Boxing Day deals. Black Friday started out as one day, it turns into a whole week. Black Friday is sort of akin to the Black Plague of consumerism. Boxing Day turns into Boxing Week, same name as a combat sport in which two people are trying to punch each other in the head. <laughs> I mean, really, what's next? Suffocation Saturdays? Hammer Fist Thursdays? Stone Cold Stunner Sundays, dude? That's the Lord's Day. Well, it turns out that according to a bunch of new studies that these sales are all an illusion. The consumer group, which has found more than 90% of Black Friday deals were actually the same price or cheaper in the six months before Black Friday last year. Can you believe it? Big box stores and retail chains are lying to you? What? I always thought they had my best interest in mind. According to the Sun article, 92% of Black Friday deals are not what they seem, with many bargain items actually being the same price or cheaper before the big discount day. It goes on to say that out of 184 products, only 17 of the deals were not quote unquote, fake. So, hell yeah, was it worth it? Was it really worth it? <laughs> okay, wait, first of all, you see the sign in the background? It says, come books. Hey man, wait a second. What is that, <laughs> dude? You go into a bookstore expecting there to be words inside of the book, you open it up, you just get pukakied in the face. This isn't a book at all. This is just jizz. I've been duped again. I don't know, maybe cum books is something different. Maybe it's all pornographic literature. I don't know what's going on there, dude. Yo, also, if you bring your kid to this, I think that there is legitimate grounds for child services to be called on your ass, dude. This is not a place for children. Jesus Christ, man. It's like as soon as one guy gets in the store, the floodgates break loose and there's just a sea of human beings. But people are just sort of laughing and just like giggling about it. There's almost this cognitive like disassociation that's happening where people are like, this is ridiculous, this thing. And meanwhile, they're actively contributing to it. It's a very strange thing that happens, right? This mob mentality. Shoppers fighting over garments at this Victoria's Secret in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Bargain hunters at this Georgia Walmart wrestling over pots and pans. The commotion veering out of control at an Alabama mall. Shoppers scrambling for safety as gunfire rings out. Do they have to go through like riot control training just to work Black Friday? It is not worth it. Minimum wage? Get wrecked, dude. You can't pay me enough to work this day. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in the background, there's like elevator holiday music. Just nice, calm, like happy, chill music and just destructive chaos everywhere around. I mean, what is this item? Why are they all so stoked on it? It's like a pot. It's like a, it's like a steamer. I can't, I can't tell what that is, a fucking humidifier? I'm not even sure, but like, it's definitely not an exciting item. Jesus. And this chick just straight up snatches it out of a, a child's hand. Just so cold hearted, man. One lady's on there, she just totally bails on all of this stuff and she just scoop, she's just trying to scoop what she can up from it, like, like a human claw game. Like you even want more than one of these items. I really don't understand.
A customer was very upset because apparently they got less toilet paper than another customer. The employee and the customer started screaming at each other's throat and even going as far as to threaten each other too. They started abusing each other as well as threatening to call the authorities as they were very upset about the situation and the customer felt like it wasn't fair that he got less than the other customers. Customer's like, you don't get it. I need this toilet paper. I have shit in my ass as we speak. I haven't wiped in days, dude. My, all of my underwear are soiled. I need, <laughs> I need this toilet paper. This guy's really bent out of shape from the toilet paper though. He's fucking poo running down his leg right now. He's like, you don't understand. I need can I have one? Can I have one square of toilet paper? Please. <laughs> Honestly, I just wish that retail stores would be a little bit more honest. You're waiting in line and the, the voice of God comes over the big speakers outside, right? I want to play a game. A squid game. Welcome to the purge. You know, and then the big bay doors open. You fucking choke out a kid next to you and you just beeline it for the electronics section. <laughs> And I understand, look, I'm not, I'm not different than anybody else. I love a good deal as well. I'm susceptible to these things. If there's something I want and I can get it for cheaper, hell yeah. I'm going to try to do that. Of course. Obviously. But if we could, when we go out there, let's remember that we're dealing with other human beings. The people who are working, they don't want to be there. They're being paid a minimum wage and they have to deal with screaming, fighting customers. They're there. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. But overall, I think the point is... Wear a helmet and bring a weapon. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm joking. Don't go. Obviously, don't go. Don't do any of it. The whole thing is silly. Honestly, though, enjoy it while you can, because soon it will only be Cyber Mondays. We'll all be trapped inside of the metaverse, reminiscing of the days of old when you could really feel the rear naked chokes, you know? You really had to earn that Keurig coffee machine. Metaverse coffee sucks, dude. I can't even taste it because I couldn't afford to upgrade to the new brain implant chip that hacks my neurology and allows me to actually taste things. Damn. That's going to wrap this video, guys. Go ahead, hit like, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, be notified next time I upload. Ultimately, just thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Peace out.